Ladies and gentlemen, on out to our fifth bout of the evening. Please welcome, making his way to the NFA cage, Todd Michael. It's time to Todd Michael coming to us out of the blue corner. He thinks that his skill that's going to dominate is that he has skilled boxing. It's not just wild punches being thrown, but he he almost contradicts himself by saying his keys to victory are gonna be getting inside and getting takedowns. So I'm not really sure if he's gonna to try to box him or take him down. Well, his background's mostly kickboxing from what I've been able to tell. So uh, maybe he's been working on some, you know, since it's transitioned to MMA, maybe he's trying to work on his ground game a lot more and that might be the game plan. Yeah, coming out of River City MMA, they've been working on their jujitsu a whole lot. I know he's been working on takedown defense and he's trying to brush up on, on MMA jujitsu. It's not the same as, standard jujitsu it's got you know mma jujitsu is very very different in the sense of you know what they say if you have a black belt you get punched in the face you just turn into a purple belt something like that absolutely that's, a, that's exactly how it goes if you it doesn't matter how good your jits is if you don't know how to defend the ground strikes as well yeah and zach you being a black belt and what i consider an actual jujitsu black belt that translated to mma for you perfectly because you have a few very solid submission wins you know how to transition from jujitsu to wrestling to MMA. How do you think, what what do you see the difference as a standard jujitsu to MMA jujitsu? It, it's definitely different. It's a, it's a faster pace. You have to be able to find submissions in scrambling. It, it's, you know, with the gi, you can't, you know, you can really like slow people down. You have grips and you can really start setting things up slowly. It's a lot harder to do that with the MMA fight. So you have to be able to strike and set stuff up uh, within, within the transitions. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's just a faster transition. Tyree Davis. Well, Tyree Davis, I think, is coming out of Wolves Den. Oh, you see Mop in that corner again. Mop, great jujitsu coach, uh, great guy. I actually, I really like him. I can't say enough good things about him. But I, I expect, you know, he, what Tyree Davis is trying to do is he, he said he wants to be smart. And a lot of guys you see come in, they're a little bit reckless because they're all amped up. They're trying to get excited. But I think he's going to try to be smart, take control, and have fun. You know, he's already had one fight this year. He's looking to get one more, uh, you know, before next year's over. And, and I could be wrong, but they, they both seem like they're strikers first, so we could be, have a really exciting fight on our hands here. Yeah, and the, you know what? One thing that I, I learned is in my experience, as I got better with wrestling and jujitsu, I caught myself wrestling more. You know, I came up kickboxing, so I'm going to try to kick your face off. But I, I've got videos of fights later on where I grab a body lock, pick a dude up, throw him down, and, and now it's a ground fight, and I've initiated that. So hopefully these guys want to show off their tools. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the NFA Walter White Division, brought to you tonight by Surf Pro of Arnold and HKA USA Combat Sports Gear. Make sure you check out the HKA USA booth located in the back of the building. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing to you first, sliding out of the blue corner. This kickboxer stands 5'11", weighed in 169 pounds. He holds an ON one amateur record. Representing Freedom Fighters MMA and fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Todd Showstopper Michael. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner, is a mixed martial artist standing 6'2", weighed in 169 pounds. He holds an amateur record, three wins, one defeat. Representing Wolvesden and fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, Tyree the Prince Davis. <laughs> Referee Tim Francis. Tyree Davis has a, a little bit more experience inside the cage, but both these guys are fairly green in their career. I'm kind of uh, I'm kind of excited to see how these guys are going to uh, show off some of the striking skills. Well, Tyree's got definitely the reach advantage, so I, I would say he tries to stay on the outside. Um, from what I noticed with uh, some of Todd's videos, he likes leg kicks, so maybe break those legs down and try to get inside on him. Yeah, Tyree's looking incredibly calm here and composed. Yeah. I mean, he checked the first kick like it was nothing. He's over here spinning. Yeah, well, you know when these guys start throwing spinning kicks, I have PTSD from a previous experience. Uh, and you were there for that one. You, were, you know what? You might be the first person that we talked to here that was there live. How yeah. was that, Zach? Uh, it scared me. I don't remember. <laughs> it, it scared me. It was one of the most uh, crazy experiences I've ever seen in my life. But, but you come in cracking jokes right after, you know, later that night, and it was uh, it was good to see you in, in good spirits. 
Oh, of course, of course. Oh, these guys here. Oh, keep, nice right hand. Yeah, these guys are throwing a couple of shots. They've missed with a few big shots that are barely off the mark as they find the range. Was that a slap? That was a slap. That was an open hand. Yeah. Didn't Wonder how the St. Louis didn't slap. Didn't in Stockton. <laughs> Stockton <laughs> slap. St. Louis <laughs> slap. <laughs> as he obviously is representing the Cardinals on his uh, his stomach. Stomach, yeah. Yeah, nice leg kick yeah, right there. That was solid. He's representing America with those uh, shorts. Hey, hey both yeah. these guys forgot their fight shorts. I don't know what happened. <laughs> I know. I, <laughs> I, truthfully, I think I have. I think I have underwear that's just like both of them. Whoa. Uh, Ooh, nice check nice. left hook. Oh, I didn't. I, I, that right hand snuck in. Was Tyree it? left hook right there. Kind of overcommitted a little bit on that. Hey, you were talking about Todd was looking about this skilled boxing. He's throwing the straighter punches, and they're gonna land as, as Tyree starts. You know, have these little loopy hooks. Yeah. Um, that straight punch, that straight right's gonna land. It, it's caught him a few times here. I he think is, that's that's why Tyree said. Uh, you know, I'm trying to stay calm and composed, and and maybe he has a habit of throwing, so you know, getting a little worked up and throwing those crazy punches. I agree, they are coming right down the butt. However, he is. Oh! But he's pulling from his waist when he's throwing them. He is. Could he end up is. getting in trouble later. Nice takedown by Michael right there. I like how he's got the forearm in the throat. Yeah, he's just got to make sure he doesn't lift that by accident. Yeah, he needs to circle him off of the cage as he just does. Hey, Michael's looking pretty pretty confident here on the ground. He, he definitely looks like he knows what he's supposed to be doing. I, I don't know about a jumping nah, guillotine nope, right there. Nope. As, nope. as I open my mouth too soon. Nope. But Tyree gets on top. Half guard right here trying he's to pass. Step right over. Right into yeah, side yeah, control. Yeah. His arm out. Yeah, he needs to let that you go. See, Michael needs to let go of that guillotine. Yeah. If Tyree realizes that he's got that Von Flew he choke. He does. He does. He goes, now he's back up. to guard. Yeah, guys, this is this is why we don't follow our back for submissions in MMA fight. It's different than jujitsu. Yeah, well, you got that striker. You know, he's been working on his, his ground game, and he wanted to show it off, and that, that was just you know green mistake. But he'll ten learn. seconds yeah. here in I the mean, first round. You know, I don't know if it uh, if it was a bad enough decision to end up on his back and, and lose this round for him. I mean, I, I think the takedown and, and the controlling. Still probably won him the round, but yeah. you know he could have landed a lot more damage and put a. And it could have cost, yeah, yeah. cost him definitely. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. I think I give that round to Todd Michael out of, out of the yep. gate. Just you know, I think he dominated probably let's just say two of the three minutes. You know, Tyree Davis ended on top. I think. I think Tyree's going to need to come out and assert himself with his with his stand up a little bit more and calm it down. Like we talked about. Maybe some straighter punches, and then you could land one of those big heavy hooks if you see an opening. Yeah, I would like to see Tyree faint some more. You know, if he would come out and faint some of those hooks and stuff and draw a, you know, that, that counter strike that Michael's trying to do, draw that out, and then he can use it against him. So if he can add some more feints, move a little bit, uh, he's got some power, he's got some good pop, he just needs to be able to, to, to yeah, throw it a little straighter. Yeah, Tyree's got a little bit of a, of a mouse on that, le that left side right there. We got Sid, the cut man in there, Sid Gee. To G, said G, said G. Well, until like Adam's credit, he was saying like Tyree in the first minute looked very confident. Had, you know, Michael on his back against the cage, but at some point it was almost like Michael said, "No, not today." And he, t he flipped that switch and started coming forward. Absolutely, and hey, that, I mean, he got that takedown relatively easy. I mean, maybe he should close the distance again, and try to get that. You know, as long as he didn't fall to his back for the guillotine, he had good control on top. Well, he's got to stay on top. I don't, I don't like that falling back, like you said. Um, I've never been a fan of that, unless your name is Damian Maya or Gunnar Nelson. <coughs> Uh, fair. I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just fair. saying. Fair enough. Fair. <laughs> fair. Oh, oh. See, but right, right here, Michael's on top. I think he needs to stay on top. Probably he needs to take some breaths and slow it down a bit. I think he's rushing because it looked like the way he was trying to climb up on there. There was a little. It wasn't tight. He gave up too much space there. See, one thing, and, and this is a credit to Zach Cummings here, UFC superstar. <laughs> the one thing that I like is when you're on top, you're top pressure. You've done this to me a thousand times. You're a big fan of Darce jokes. Where's that? Head and arm jokes. That. I'll show you. <laughs> you know, I and I, I've made mention before that I've stuffed almost all your takedowns. The only time I go down is when I let, I let you. So. Fair enough. But I like that top pressure right here. Michael's on. He's got that mount oh, taking that, that back. Oh, he needs to get those hooks in. He's he falling back. Again. That was yeah. terrible. He rushed again. Yep. Yeah, he's getting a little too high. Yeah. It's good movement by, by Tyree and not, yeah. not accepting that position. Ooh, look at Michael's leg. Yeah. Thighs. Took a couple a couple good leg kicks in. I didn't even really That's notice a it. You got a, you got a foot imprint. That's what that is. Look at you can oh, see hey, the toes. Hey, Look at the toes. <laughs> going for that triangle right there. He's got to. <laughs> yes, he needs to get that, that hand out. He's Tyree needs to <laughs> shove his left hand through. Oh, wait. He's got the triangle. If he reaches up and grabs his shin Not and pulls quite, it down, yeah. I think, I he's, think he's his leg is stuck. He cut and the angle the wrong way as well. Oh, don't roll. There you go. 
It's almost uh, like they call a timeout. It was. It was. Right. Guys, cool. This is a pretty technical fight here between these two. I mean, it they're is. They're having the moments of, of getting a little flurry and crazy, but, I mean, they're getting takedowns. Or they're both going for some good techniques on the ground. They and that want, they want to make me look bad. I said they're both going to be strikers first, and here they come out. Well, they both – so so Tyree Davis comes out of uh, Wolvesden, which is – I'm not going to say they're a jiu-jitsu gym, but that's Mop, what they're known for. Mop, yeah, yeah, Mop is a very good black belt. Yeah, but they got good striking, but they are know, known for their jiu-jitsu. Yeah, and, and Todd said, you know, he wants to, to show that he's been brushing up on his wrestling and jiu-jitsu. And and like Zach said, these guys are showing a lot of technique and a lot of skill with with just a little dash of uh, I just say immaturity. For sure, Absolutely. and that's that's the crazy thing is is the sport has evolved so much. Yeah, they're both new. You could tell they're they're both evolving their game, and they're trying to learn. They're you know, yes, they were strikers, but now they're trying to add some takedowns. Their their grappling's looking pretty good. The control. Uh, I would like to see Michael really try to slow it down, stay a little heavier on the hips, and he's getting just a little too antsy. He's, he's getting, yes, he's getting rolled over. Yeah, nice absolutely. little left hands right there I by think, Tyree Davis. You know, and I think Tyree it caught him off guard a bit with Michael. Again, Michael had a kickboxing background before he got into uh, MMA, and I think that might have caught Tyree off guard when he's doing these shots. They may not have been expecting those. But you gotta expect the unexpected, as you know. Absolutely. This is a tough round to, to call here. They, they both have their moments. Tyree had a little more time on yeah. top of this round. Yeah. But again, Michael got the takedown, landed some hard shots, and, and had the back. It's a little true. Bit. But this I've could be the case of uh, Tyree ended on top, and you know, sometimes that judges are known to have that uh, short-term memory. Yeah, so. I, I could see Tyree stealing this round more than the first round. I, I think I think Ty got the first round, and uh, the second round, I could definitely see them think that, that Tyree might have stolen. Yeah, I, I have to go with two rounds to none. But what, I, what I'd like to see Michael do is come out. If he gets that takedown, he has got to stop falling for submissions. Or You know, the number one thing that they always say in jiu-jitsu, position before submission. Michael, Michael's looking tired. He, hey, this is going to come down to cardio, and yeah. you have you have two extremes. You have one lean over, hyperventilating. Michael is is breathing really hard. Yeah, trying he to needs to get up to get those lungs open. And Tyree is sitting very calm, listening to his coaching. Uh, I, I really think that that cardio is going to show a big factor in the third round. Yeah, I think Tyree's going to come out, and, and, and he knows Michael's tired. You still got to keep your hands well, I, up. You still got to watch out for a while. I say shots. that. I say that Michael just got off his corner and takes a deep breath, but he's looking pretty he's calm. Looking so right. yeah. I mean, maybe I'm wrong here. Well, he just didn't. He didn't do that between the first and second round. That's why I was wondering too. He true, wasn't hunched true. over like that between those yeah, rounds. Yeah, just looked very unorthodox. <laughs> right. I do. I do think he's going to walk a little funny tomorrow. That leg is not yeah, good. I'd like to see Tyree go to the, a couple leg kicks. Well, if I was oh, oh, nice shot. Nice shot. Yeah. Good timing. Well, if I was in Ty Tyree's corner, I'm going to tell him you need to get this route. You need to maybe go for a finish because you don't oh. want to Michael this. Oh, he falls against this the is, top and lands This is battle. where Michael should win the fight. Oh, yep, there we go. Wow. Do oh, not fall back. This is where he needs to control. He needs to control. Stay right there. He's got that hook out. He's got that He's hook got out. He's got one hook in. He really needs to settle and control the position. He's and going for that where body he's get triangle. Over Nancy, right Nancy here. Again, yep. He's getting antsy. Oh, he needs to climb back up on top. This is where you got to dig deep and climb back on top. Got to get that underhook. He's not yes. reaching for the under. He's reaching for the head instead of the underhook. Yeah. Yeah. And so now he's now he's back to his back where that was maybe 30 seconds of dominating yeah, it was, performance. It was great, but yeah. Where he had he had the win. I think he had the win right there. Yeah. He couldn't finish him. Sometimes you have to stop from punching and control the body and really fight him out, break him down, get your your hip position where he needs to be, and then those punches would be a lot more powerful. Absolutely, yeah. he does that and slows it down a bit. He's going to be, a, he's going to advance his fighting career tenfold. I yeah, mean, I mean, it, he's showing some really good stuff here. He needs to learn a few, you know, a few things, and you know, it, it, it can definitely yeah, advance your career, like you said. Ooh! Yeah, I like it. Oh, suck! Yes. I would like to see Mike get. get I, would, I, want, I want to see him, Michael get up. Yeah, he needs to scoot back His to corner's the cage. yelling at him to get up, and he's not. Yeah, I think he's tired. This, this might be the fatigue. Yeah, this might be that fatigue. Don't wave him in. He needs to get up and try to get back on top. He needs to get up, and, and, and on the on the flip side, Davis needs to jump on him. Right? Yeah. If, if he thinks he's behind on the card, he needs to do something. See, I don't, I don't, I don't know if he thinks he's behind on the card. I think he probably feels like he's secured the win at this point. But why not try to finish it? Why not go out with a bang? Adam speaking for the fans there. Let's make it exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, I'm a fan here too. I'm not coaching either of these guys. I don't know. 
I mean, when it comes down to it, like they're they're still winning decisions, but they're they're getting the time in here, experience, and trying to trying to find ways to finish. And I mean, Tyree if Davis. If you're not always looking to finish here, like what are we really doing? This is a learning experience. Exactly. Now Tyree Davis has the back. Yeah, and you can see he's, he's being a little more patient and really controlling here and picking the shots, being a little smarter. And I think he's. 43 seconds, yeah. gives his corner the nod just at 30 seconds now. Look, work back on top, that's how you want to float. Sometimes you need to float on it. You can, you can detach yourself and then reattach and everything. And Tyree's definitely looking a little smoother on top and be able to, to maintain that position. I agree, he, look, he looked a little more seasoned in the, in the ground game there. Yeah, we're coming up to the 10 second mark. Tyree is ending on top. Definitely not a 10-8 round, but I definitely think he walked away with this round with, with no question. Yeah, they both have their moments again, but this time, Tyree had more time on top and definitely finally got some damage done that he's been looking uh, to get these last couple rounds. Yeah, and as we come to an end, I think, I'm gonna go ahead and say, I think Tyree Davis went ahead and stole all three rounds, but Michael had glimpses of, of greatness. Yeah, it was definitely a very competitive fight here. I'm uh, I'm curious to see what these judges are gonna see, you know, if, you know, are they gonna give the, the little bit of time in and on top and the, the, the short term, you know, memory here. Right as you said, uh, for those first couple of rounds here. But yeah, I, I agree with you, Adam. I think, I think Tyree's got it. Third round was definitely an easy call. Yeah, the only sure. round, the first round could maybe go to Michael, uh, you know, depending. But depending on how they see that third round, so when Michael got on top, granted it was about 30 seconds, but he did a lot of damage. He did a lot more than, than Davis did. You know, and then when he was on his back, or Davis on his, you know, on his, or no, Michael on his back was throwing up that triangle, going for it. So I'm, I'm anxious to see what these judges are, are gonna say. There both guys. Good. This could this could tell us too how the judges are gonna be judging as well too if we see. Yeah. It, you know. Yeah. Both um. both guys actually did really well. I think uh, it shows what this sport is evolving into. And I, I'm I would like to see both these guys back. I mean, uh, I hope Michael will. Todd Michael will call me tomorrow and tell me how his leg feels because that, oh, yeah. that welt from a kick a, we never saw. I'm telling you, I see toes. That is a foot kick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the show of respect going to the other corner, shaking hands, you know, congratulating all that stuff. But uh, as we get the scorecards, I want to send it up to uh, to Mike Kendall to read uh, read the results. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards, and all three judges score this bout. 29-28 for your winner by unanimous decision, Tyree the Prince Davis.